Hey guys, Get Level here, and today we're gonna be making music using nothing else but a microphone and an Elgato Stream Deck. Oh, you heard that right. When I made my video about the Elgato Stream Deck the other day, I mentioned that I could possibly make music with it, and Elgato commented. They were like, hey, we would love to see you make music with this, and I was like, oh, challenging me Elgato so I checked it out now I know that Elgato is compatible with a bunch of other MIDI software that allows you to do that thing simple but it's not a challenge the challenge is to use Elgato's integrated soundboard features and then one software to record whatever I'm gonna record so that's right we're gonna be adding the sounds to the buttons straight on the Elgato software no other software for soundboarding the only other software that we're gonna use is for recording and it's audacity it's a free very lightweight recording software anyways there's a couple of things that you need to know about the Elgato and the integrated soundboard system the first thing that you need to know is that there's a huge delay between when you press the button and the sound actually plays it's not huge 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 but for a soundboard if you were using it as a sampler it's kind of terrible you can probably hear the difference between the noise of me pressing the button i'm gonna try to press it harder and when it actually plays and even worse it seems like the delay is actually different every single time you press it depends on your computer power obviously but this is not good for a sampler you're supposed to have zero lag you press it the the audio plays so that brings us to the conclusion that if we were using it to create music live as a drum machine as a live sampler we would oh. struggle we would struggle we can do little things like oh But as soon as we try to play a beat with like a hat, hi-hats, or a snare, I'm actually, my, my brain is actually trying to compensate for the delay and it's almost impossible to keep up basically. Okay, so let's clear it out and start a brand new project all together. So what we're gonna do here is create a new profile and we're gonna edit profiles and we're gonna rename profile two to soundboard. Maybe not soundboard because I already have one, but music. We're gonna click on that first one. We're gonna delete it, trash bin, we don't need you. And I'm going to explain the basic process of importing sounds and using the soundboard system. So first of all, on the right side, you will find soundboard. This is where you go and boom, soundboard, play audio. You're gonna definitely have to drag in one thing. And I wanna show you all the options. Of course, you have the title to format the button itself, but you also have the option to go find a specific file if you wanna play that file. And then here's where it's pretty cool. Action, play, stop. That means you press, it plays, you press again, it stops. If it's done playing, the length is shorter, it will stop automatically. And then you have play, overlap. That means you press once, it plays, and if you press again, it will play another time on top of it, so you can make it even louder. You can play the same sound on top of the same sound. Play restart, that is basically, it plays it, you press it again, it will cut it and play it again. So it won't be on top of each other, it will just stop it to replay it again. And then what we're actually gonna be using today is loop stop means you have your sound it will play in a loop until you press it again and it will finally stop okay so now we have audacity open and i'm gonna show you the little secret to making this work what we know is that we can't use single sample and rely on ourselves to just play the music because there's too much delay and we would be out of sync it would be too complex we could do it probably if everything is spaced out but we're trying to do something cool that sounds good so the other option that we have is playing loops so basically what we need to record is a bunch of loops right and we have audacity open right now and i'm just gonna do exactly that ready Okay. I don't like that one. I keep losing my breath. Now that we have our beat uh, recorded, we're gonna trim it down in order to make it loop. It's not too bad, but we can work with that. So we're gonna select the empty spaces and or and make sure that we um, really make it work for us. Okay, I'm gonna press delete. So, so it starts at the beat. Now here's the tricky part. 
turns out that the stream deck does not necessarily allow us to do a perfect loop. That means that if we cut this perfectly in order for it to loop within Audacity, it would still not be perfect to loop on the stream deck. So we have to play around with it and save it multiple times in order to make sure. So here I'm going to be very, very careful. And as you can see, this doesn't loop perfectly, but we're still going to export it and send it to the stream deck. I'm going to go save other, export as wave. This is the best quality you can, but also there's some complication when it comes to exporting an MP3 with Audacity. I'll let you figure that one out. Now, something that I really love with the stream deck is that you can drag and drop files onto there. You're probably not going to see it for, because of the way I have it right now, but I'm just going to drag it from my folder into the stream deck app saying are you sure you want to replace this one i'm gonna say yes and now this is drums and remember it's a loop we want it to loop until we decide to stop it so we're gonna select loop stop right let's go ahead and press it on our stream deck and listen if it loops perfectly and we can see there's a little delay so we're gonna cut into it a little more we're still not there yet so let's cut even more I kind of slowed down, so if there's a little shift in BPM, that's me, that's on me. But now that we have that part selected, what we can do is mute this part because we have a specific length and we need everything to be in that length, right? So that everything can loop at the perfect timing for the stream deck. And we're going to come up with a bass like... Oh my god, you guys were... <laughs> I had this on the stream deck the whole time. It doesn't matter. It's, I did the same thing. Okay, let me actually show you. So this is what it looked like. I just recorded this. Oh man, I just recorded this and I just trimmed it so that it would be the, the exact same length as the first drums one. Now I exported it and now I'm going to drag and drop it on my stream deck software. Okay. And now technically we need to time it perfectly so that we press the bass at a time when the beat is dropping. Okay. So we can drop the beat. I'm going to drop the bass. We're going to play with the volume. Uh, just playing together. Let me go grab a kazoo real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> now, the cool thing with Audacity is that we already have that drums as a reference. So we can double sounds. We can do like harmony and stuff like that and export that all together before we even hit the stream deck. So I'm going to delete that bass part. Then I'm going to add my kazoo. So let's play. Let's play the song. Let's just, just play our song this part is recorded and I'm going to record um, the exact same thing, just I'm going to separate them. Now I'm just going to add little, hey, cool thing here is that you can add a button to stop audio. So I'm going to add this here. Am I showing the right thing? Yes, I am. So uh, if I'm playing any of those loops, I want to stop it. I'm just going to press stop. That's really cool. OK, so now that we have our basic loops, I know I said that little samples and stuff like that wouldn't really work, but I love playing with samples, especially vocal snippets. So I'm going to try to record a couple of ha ha ha. Oh, <laughs> and then cut them really short so I can just play around with them while this beat is playing. OK, Okay, uh, all right, let's see what we have so far. <laughs> so we have. Almost. 
But this is what the snippets uh, are pretty much all about. This is a stream check Freestyling with my big smile It ain't gonna be vile You know it is gonna be wild With the afro hair Don't mention it Your boy is keeping it tight Your boy is dropping the beat And they seek, right? <laughs> I meant they sick English pronunciation is a My note is off. There's no way the sound actually recorded on this. I don't know what I'm doing. Stop. Oh my god. And <laughs> that's how I made music with the Elgato Stream Deck. There's no way OBS actually handled all of that. So I'll probably have to restart all over again. I'm not completely proud of it. It can be better. But hey, this is a quick... Not quick at all. I've been recording for like more than an hour. But it's a quick way of showing you, hey, no matter what the issues are you can work around it and make things happen in our case this has a huge delay sometimes things get out of sync on their own but that doesn't mean that we can't make music out of it so remember me it's your boy gal level i made music with a stream deck <laughs> anyways i'll probably be checking out other you know simple um simpler software that would work with the stream deck hopefully they there's no delay up problems or anything like that uh we'll see that but anyways if you want to watch my other videos about the stream deck go check my channel what are you doing subscribe ring the notification bell follow me on social media and if you're looking for some dope overlays to make your channel your twitch channel look amazing uh go to gumroad.com slash get level because this is where i keep them anyways i'm kind of tired my food is waiting for me I have a meeting in about 20 minutes. I will see you guys next time. Go out there. <laughs> make me musically proud. Guy level. Out. <laughs> <laughs>